Hey there guys, welcome back to another one of our snack box videos. We are back with Universal Yum's July box, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this is out a little later than normal. Um, had pretty, pretty crazy few weeks, so. Um, but we're back with that, and this month it is from Taiwan. No, Thailand. Thailand. Oh my. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the same thing. Um, so, from Thailand. Now, I can't remember, did we do a box like this before? From Thailand? Yeah. No. No? Okay. Um, so, we're looking forward to that. Seems like there's a lot of interesting things. Uh, before we get into that, as always, I'm Stuart. And I'm Joelle. And thanks so much for tuning in to Max Try. Make sure you check out our social media. That'll show up at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, give us a follow on Instagram, Facebook, and all that fun stuff. So, why don't we just jump right into this? Okay. And where do you think we want to start? You pick first. All right, let's get the spicy stuff oh, out of the way. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Now, these are devil chips, but they're made with Thai chilies, which is supposed to be 15 times hotter than a jalapeno. Oh, that's nice. The eternal struggle. <laughs> oh, they actually smell pretty good, but I think I just saw... There should be pieces of them. pepper in there. What? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there is. Now Joel's Ooh. really terrified. I'm gonna take a little teeny tiny, <laughs> a teeny tiny chip. Can you a get the pepper out chip. of there? I don't know if yeah, you'll be able to see can. it, but this bag of chips actually comes with pieces of pepper in it. Yeah, they're crunchy. So I don't know if you can see, yeah, you that, can see that, but yeah, so this ought to be interesting. I mean, it smells like smoky and peppery. Right, it smells nice. Yeah, oh jeez. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I don't like spicy things. Let's go. It's got a sweet start, but it does, oh my. They are, oh my gosh. It's deceptive at the, the first bite. It's really, it's sweet You're and like, nice. Oh, it's sweet. This is gonna be great. Maybe we shouldn't have started with these. And then it's painful. <laughs> I don't know how you could eat like a bag of these. The heat builds over time. Oh man, oh the man. The flavor is not bad. No, it's nice. However. It's kind of sweet and smoky. Here's the thing, in the past we've gotten boxes that have oh. what are labeled as like spicy chips. And they're not really And spicy. they're not, they just taste like peppers. This, this burns. Yeah. I don't think I could eat a bag of these like no. without your mouth on fire. Right. Um, that being said, as I said, Flavor-wise, they're good. I like the flavor of them. They're not as spicy as I was ex like I had. I built it up bigger in my head. Mm -hmm. Like it's spicy, but right. it's bearable. It is a bearable spice, um, mm -hmm. unless you have a hard time dealing with right the jalapenos. Then it's going to be rough for you. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't. I I couldn't sit and eat a whole bag of them. No. Like, and I'm assuming I don't know if I'd be able to tell. Yeah, this is one serving size. So like, yeah, I couldn't eat the whole bag of this in no. one sitting. Nope, nope, nope. I might have one or two chips and that'd be the end of it yep. for that. Um, man, I don't know how to rate those. I give them a seven for taste. Okay. But take it down to a four for uncomfortableness. <laughs> <laughs> four for discomfort. So it ends at a four. I'm gonna give them an eight for flavor. I like the flavor of mm -hmm. them. Um, I think I would go, if we're going to go on a discomfort level, maybe a five. Um, so I'd rate them a little higher than you. Um, okay. But I think they're worth giving a shot. I think they're definitely worth trying at least one. So if you're on the Universal Yum Shop, um, we'll link that below. Make sure you check those out if you like spicy. Yeah, if you like spicy things, things you might really enjoy right. them. Because they so, do have a good flavor. That's out of the way. Yeah, I'm Where glad we go that now. that's over there. I think let's start with these because I think I'm going to like them. Alright, so these are sweet potato chips. No, they're three different kinds. Oh, they're taro sticks and purple and orange sweet potato chips. Yeah. Um, now it says the ingredients in this are only the sweet potatoes, taro, palm oil, sugar, and salt. So they smell like sweet potatoes, which is disgusting. I love sweet potatoes. So you got purple chips. We're going to have to try all three flavors. You got orange chips. And they should be both sticks. And you got these. Oh, that's not what I was expecting them to look like. They so, look like those little potato sticks you get. I don't like po sweet potatoes. And they smell just like sweet potatoes. They are sweet potatoes. 
Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start with the tarot I'll start stick. Oh. There's not much flavor to it. No. If you've ever had those dried banana chips, that's kind of what it feels like. Mm. Very crunchy. Mm-hmm. Flavor-wise, there's a hint of sweet potato or whatever it is, taro, mm -hmm. I guess. Taro is a root, I believe. Is that what it is? Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, not a whole lot of flavor in the sticks. All right, let's go with the orange sweet potato chip. Mmm. That's delicious. It's like sweet and salty. I like it. It's a sweet potato. Mm. Um, mm. I don't mind these as much as I do like a regular sweet potato because for me it's a texture thing with the sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are... I thought you didn't like them because they tasted orange. Well, there's that too, but they're excessively sweet and they're mushy. And so, yeah. I don't care for sweet potatoes. The purple one is like a sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Just a different color. I'd give this a three. I wouldn't buy it. What? A three? Yeah. Do not listen to them. And that's being generous. I'd give them a seven and a half. I like them. Um, I I'm just a fan. don't like sweet potato. I don't love so. the taro straws, but I really like the sweet potatoes. They're really good. Yeah, so they're different. Um, yeah. We have sweet potato chips here in the United States, but not the purple ones that I've seen. I think that specialty brands have them. Do they? I think so. Um, yeah, but if you don't like sweet potatoes, pass on those. But if you're a fan of those of sweet potatoes, give them a try. Mm -hmm. Yum. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to go with these okra chips. Oh, that's interesting. This is Japanese soy flavor. sauce flavor. Um, I think I've only had okra once. When we went out to eat at that southern restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm not like, I'm not a huge fan of it, but oh, I'm missing let's one? see how it goes. Oh, here they are. Oh. oh They're wait. supposed to be bitter. Oh. They do not smell good. Oh my goodness. They are literally They're like whole okras. Whole okras that have been fried and dehydrated or something. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Oh, jeez. I just made a mess. Okay. All right, I'm going to, I guess, eat the part that didn't crumble. Or did crumble. Oh, it just tastes like soy sauce. Oh. Yeah. Okay, they're actually not that bad. No. Um. You made a mess. They did make a mess. What else is new? Um. Yeah, they taste like soy sauce. Yeah. Uh, they do have a bit of a bitter finish. At the end, yeah. Um, which is kind of offsetting. Um, I don't think I would eat these. I'm going to put them back. Yeah, I don't think I would eat them either. Um, I certainly wouldn't buy them. No. I, Even though they're made with love. Yeah, well, as long as they're made with love. it says on the package. I don't mind the flavor. The start off flavor is fine, but it really does get bitter the later you get into like the flavor sitting I have to mouth. say though I do appreciate trying all these new things that's fun right whether we like them or not yeah so my maybe, personal opinion maybe it would be good in a salad like if you crumble them over a salad as a crunchy thing maybe if you're looking for like a soy sauce bitter flavor for your sal salad like um, a crouton maybe I don't know I give it a four Ooh. I don't think I'd go that high with it. Oh no? Um, I actually like the sweet potato chips better than these, so I'd give that a two. Oh my, okay. Um, I didn't care for it. Okay, that's fine. But if you like okra, give it a shot. I don't know. Well, should we do this next and yeah. get it out of the way? I think we've had something like this before, but this I was before. I think we have too. I think it was before we we've started. We've also recording. had the flavor before as well, lard. I feel like right. we've had that flavor And I think before. we liked it. These are seaweed chips. Yeah, so Tempura we shall see. Tempura seaweed. If I remember right, it just tastes like chicken bouillon. Oh, they have like they have like a batter on them. Or yeah, something. well, they're tempura. Oh, I didn't. I didn't notice that. I don't remember what chicken larb is. But well, in here it says it's chicken, lime juice, soy sauce. Oh, okay. Um, chili powder and shallots. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, let's go. Yeah. I remember that flavor. It's a good crunchy snack. Mm. Um, it is almost like... Salt and vinegar, I think. No, it's like eating a chip that's coated in uh, ramen noodle seasoning. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely that savory chickeny, right. but with a bit of acid. Did yeah. you get like that little bits of, of liminess or right. whatever it was? So there are yeah, and actually the seaweed isn't bad. I remember not liking seaweed, but this doesn't taste that yeah. like ocean fishy taste. It's good. Right. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I think I you get, get a it. tiny hint of that at the end, but it's not like overpowering. No, and it's nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. I give it a six. Uh, I'm gonna give it a seven. I really enjoy this. I think it's a good flavor. Um, yeah, so if you get a chance to Check get a hold out. of the chicken larb flavor, definitely do that. They're, they're pretty good. Yeah. All right. Your turn. Um, why don't we do these two? Okay. So we have two uh, bags of chips here that are from the same brand, Tasto, I guess. And this one is crab curry whatever. and salt and, and sour. Yeah, salt and sour, which looks like it's salt and lemon. Yeah, that's what it says. Salt Salty lemon, lemon potato, potato chips. chips. So I'm interested in the crab curry. I'm a little scared of the salt. Now that one says ginger, garlic, lime juice, chilies, and coconut milk along with crab. That might be good. Ginger and garlic are two things we really like. Right. And I enjoy crab, so yeah. we'll see how this goes with the crab curry first. Oh, we're going to do that first? Because that's the one I grab. Okay. They smell good. Oh, mm, yeah, they do. All right, let's go. That'd be yummy. That is really good. Like, I'm a big fan in this area of the, uh, the Chesapeake. Uh, the bay crab chips like old bay crab chips. the old bay chips um i actually yeah, like these really good. better than those because they're not as spicy like yeah they have just like a nice you taste the ginger you taste the garlic you mm -hmm. taste the curry it's really good yeah i give these a nine yeah i'm gonna rate those pretty high as far as chips go um they're nine so almost there's a flavor we would never yeah, have here almost a ten like yeah I would be more than happy to buy a giant bag of those. Yep. Um, and we only have like like five course. chips left in the bag. Right. So that'll probably be the best chips we have, and they gave us the least amount, amount. of them. Um, <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah, the crab curry ones, delicious. All right. I don't think I'm gonna like these, but I think you're gonna like these. You think this is like a salt and vinegar type? Thing yeah, they. Or? That's what they compared it to, in the little book here. I don't know, it doesn't smell like And it says, until we, we tasted, which have the same sour, salty profile as salt and vinegar, with a subtle fruitiness that might be even more addictive, is what it says. Oh, no. There's no real scent to them. Like, when you open a bag of salt and vinegar chips, you smell the salt and vinegar. Yeah. All right. Oh. oh, no, those are nice, too. Yeah. It's very subtle. It's very different. I will say that. But if you're a fan of salt and vinegar chips, which I am, those are super acidic. This is not. This is like a subtle salt, and somehow you get the the more sweet lemony I mean, flavor. Mm -hmm. It's which really is good. Actually, really good. I think I give these a nine too. I put them at the same. They're a little bit. They're totally different, but right. I like them the same amount. Yeah, like I would be happy with either bag of chips on those if we were to get yeah. a full size bag. Who would have thought that lemon flavored potato chips would be good? Right. I think it's because it's not overwhelming. Yeah. It's not like, like I think sometimes here in the states we get too aggressive with our flavoring, mm -hmm. whereas less is more sometimes. So. Oh my goodness! So good. Yeah. So if you ever go to Thailand, try their potato chips. <laughs> They're so good. Uh, yeah, all right. So far, so good. Um, all right, where should we go next? How about we do those? These, this other little bag? Yeah. All right, now these are sweet and spicy fried potato snacks. So I think these this are says sweet potatoes. Sweet garlic wheat crisps. Oh, okay, so they're wheat. All right, yeah, so it says fried sweet potato chips coated with butter, caramel, sweet, and spicy flavor. Is that the same thing? That's this, right? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right. Let's okay. break Let's into these and see what we got. 
Oh, they're actually like... Little puffs? Coated. Oh, oh wow. They're not really puffs. Yeah, they have like a little caramel or a glaze or something on them. Yeah. All right. If you ever wonder why caramel and garlic are not <laughs> flavors that go together. Try these chips. Yeah. They're, inter they're interesting. I'm really torn because it's like there's a battle that's going on. The caramel comes through, uh -huh. which I like the flavor of the caramel. Uh -huh. But at the end, it ends garlic. Then the garlic comes through and I like the flavor of the garlic. It's that middle ground where they merge. That's just not fun. It's really kind of weird. It is a very odd chip. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight for uniqueness. Oh, okay. It's a very unique chip. Okay. But I'm gonna put it middle of the ground. I'm gonna put it about a five as far okay. as flavor. That's what I was thinking. I would give it a five. If the garlic wasn't there and they were just like they'd be really good as coated sweet, wheat puffs, but yeah, they'd be really. They good. would be totally up there, but that weird garlic aftertaste mm -hmm. is just weird. <laughs> yeah, and I think even though it says spicy, sweet and spicy, spicy, I think they try to rely on the spiciness of the garlic, but it really doesn't come through. No, um, you really just get that weird. So I think I get what they were going for: sweet yeah. and spicy thing, and the spicy of the garlic would be there. But yeah. Yeah. So I think we only have three things left, right? We do. We have three things left. Let's, Let's yeah, that's where I was going to go with that. And finish on the things that I think yeah. are going to be good. This is now we've had a sea seaweed roll before. Like this, yeah. This is fried shrimp with salad cream flavor. Now, when I was in England, they had salad cream, which you put on your salad. But it was kind of just like a mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> it might be like a fried chicken. If you mayonnaise. love mayonnaise in your salad, comment below. I mean, it had a little bit of a different flavor than mayonnaise, right. but it was the consistency and color of mayonnaise. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, this might be a take a bite and pass. Yep, situation. yep. Yeah, fried shrimp and mayo seaweed wrapped around a crispy potato stick. Yeah, so it's mayo. All right. Um, Do it. That is actually really good. No, but I don't get shrimp or mayo. You got a little bit on your nose. Do I? Yep. There's a sweetness to it, and yeah. you're right. I don't get shrimp or mayo. But flavor-wise, it's good. Yeah. I don't like the texture of the seaweed in my mouth at this point. It's kind of sticking to the roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, and you can definitely taste the seaweed in this more. You can, but it's not super strong. Um, yeah, it has like a glaze or something. Yeah. Like but I don't mm. taste shrimp or mayo. I think for me, I would rate that just based on the fact that I don't think I'd ever eat a snack like that. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think it's something that I would just outright Rabbit buy. Eat. No. Um, with that being said, with the flavor of it, I like the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. um, I would put that at maybe a five, maybe okay. a six, somewhere around there. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking too, a five or a six. Right. Um, because yeah, the flavor is surprisingly good, but I just think it's the, like, it's just so unusual to us. Right. Yeah. That it's throwing us off a little bit. Which in previous boxes from you know the area of asia and stuff like that we've gotten snacks like that before yeah um some better than others this is one of the better ones yeah so if you have an opportunity to try some of these and you see this flavor definitely give it a shot i think it's worth trying at least once yeah absolutely uh, definitely new um all right so the last things that we have we're gonna do these together same it's company. the same company just different flavors and these are coconut rolls with natural banana and roasted sweet corn yeah i'm so totally um intrigued by the sweet corn and the banana if the banana flavor is actually going to be natural or if it's going to be that fake banana sweet corn flavor. is not a flavor that we see much in the u.s not as a flavoring not as a flavoring yeah. um, i mean we love corn right on the top we grow a lot of it yeah Look at how cute these are. Um, so. Coats of doors. Yeah, so they're literally just like. I thought they would have filling, but I, I mean, did it's too. just the flavor it's of the wafer. It's just the flavor of the wafer, so you'll see it's just a hollow tube. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, let's Which start with the, the sweet corn. Oh, the sweet corn? Okay. And 
and we'll see how this Does goes. It smell? No, it smells. It smells like coconut. Yeah, nutty. Mm. Well, I'm making mouth. That's really good. I like it a it's lot. It's not super sweet. No, but it has a nice coconutty flavor. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the corn. I, don't I know I don't get corn at all. I just taste like coconut. Oh. And I don't know, maybe because of the corn, that reduces the coconut flavor. I don't know, but I really like it. I do kind of wish there was a cream filling with some kind. I know, right? <laughs> they have a perfect opportunity for a cream filling. You just have to make some and then you can make like Thai coconut cannolis. Ooh. <laughs> just fill them with cream. That sounds so good. Um, these are good. The more, like after I finish that, I do get a bit of the corn. Yeah, me too. And so the combination of the coconut and corn, I don't know that I love. Oh, I like it. Um, I would give this a nine. Mm, this one specifically, I don't think I'd rate that high. No? I'm gonna go with a seven. Um, just because the combination of coconut and corn is not one that oh, I think it's be, I'm not familiar with it. Now let's try banana. Coconut and banana, maybe? I mean, it's tropical fruits, so. Mmm. Mm. You can taste the banana. Mm -hmm. It's good. And it's not that fake banana. The either. runt banana the flavor. The runt banana flavor. The circus peanut banana. Mm -hmm. um, but this one is almost opposite. Like the banana drowns out the coconut. Mm -hmm. It's nice though. Um, I really like both of these a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. I give that a nine as well. I think I'm gonna give this an eight. I like this one better than the sweet corn one. Yeah. Um, I think it just has a better flavor and I like that it's a natural banana flavor and not an artificial one. Right. Um, well, so what do you think? It so far for this box, for this part of the box. Yeah. Um, I am actually pleasantly surprised. Me too. About a lot of these things. I was really hesitant, just with all the different flavors that are not some things things that we try every day. But aside from the really spicy chip, and maybe the okra was kind of funky. Right. Everything else was pretty good. Right. Um, what was your favorite thing out of I think this grouping? It may have been the roasted sweet corn coconut rolls. Really? Those eked out of the... Or the chips? I don't know. I actually liked a bunch of things in here. Yeah. My, it'd be, my top three would be the coconut roll, these two chips, and the sweet potato chips. Would be the three things that I really liked. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I have a top three. Oh, okay. Um, but I would say definitely the crab curry chips and the salt and sour chips are worth, like, that's your must try. Yeah. Out of this box, or a part of the box. Um, yeah, so if you've had any of these things, uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Okay. Um, so far, so good on the start of this. Yeah, and make sure you tune in next Saturday for the second half of our Thailand box. Right, uh, and that'll have more sweet items, so we're looking forward to doing that. Yeah, definitely. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. We're still on that path to 100 subscribers, so hopefully we'll hit that here soon. Yep. Um, and maybe we'll do something special once we hit that 100 subscriber mark. Um, but as always, thanks so much for commenting and liking and all that fun stuff. And we will catch you next time. So take care, guys. Bye.